हेलो एवरीवन एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू ए कंप्लीट प्लेसमेंट सॉल्यूशन दिस इज प्रतीक श्रीवास्तव हियर फाउंडर ऑफ ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू एंड 12 प्लस इयर्स ऑफ आईटी इंडस्ट्री एक्सपीरियंस फ्रेंड्स देयर इज अ बिग न्यूज़ ए ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ व्हिच इज कमिंग हियर फ्रॉम रेलवे रिक्रूटमेंट बोर्ड एंड दिस हायरिंग इज हैपनिंग फॉर जूनियर इंजीनियर सो इफ यू हैव डन बीई बीटेक इन सिविल मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल कंप्यूटर साइंस डिप्लोमा ऑल आर बेसिकली गोइंग टू बी एलिजिबल इफ वी टॉक अबाउट पास आउट ईयर then 2020 batch 2021 batch 2022 batch 2023 batch 2024 batch all are going to be eligible syllabus will be quite similar aptitude reasoning right and then you will be having some general uh, knowledge that's all right so we will talk each and everything in detail and the salary is also very handsome salary in hand around 80000 rupees you will be getting as a junior engineer and total number of seats is 7951 the application process will start from 30 of july 2024 i have given you the summary right and i will also take you through friend 7951 these are you know like quite a huge number of seats here 7951 and the application process is going to start from 30 of july right and the last date to apply is 29th of august 2024 dates for modification windows for correction is 30 of august right so friends each and every opportunity you have to take it very very seriously right and also if you think that we are putting lot of effort for you all getting the content making the videos ppt pdf lot of effort goes behind one video then please do like the video and also subscribe to the youtube channel you will be always getting benefited right because we have already benefited so many students across uh, the india so any kind of exam preparation right so any kind of news right hiring news each and everything we are definitely bringing it to you uh, in very much uh, early uh, fine right okay now so friends uh, next thing is so what i have done so i have summarized each and everything at a place here and then i will be explaining you before that one thing which i wanted to you know keep it very clear because many of the students and then they will start saying sir age is given 13 to 18 to 36 years why you are telling 2020 2021 batch 2022 batch 2023 batch and 2024 batch what is your problem so that kind of a student i just wanted to tell you i also know how to read it but see the audience which we have right so generally we have around 2020 till 2024 batch right now right so i don't want to go back and start explaining so if you have done your engineering in 1999 then also you apply in 2000 then also you apply in 2010 no so that is the reason i have not told that but anyway here you can see so 18 to 30 years so based on your age also so if you are eligible you are going to apply for it okay and friends there are multiple rrbs are there i will explain you each and every uh, you know detail so basically you don't need to apply to one rrb now suppose you are from sikandrabad you apply for there suppose you are from uh, you know uh, patna you apply there you apply for that rrb so like the options are available to you right so aptitude reasoning general awareness these are the things which you need to uh, write it okay so friends here you can see initial pay so basically uh, it will be more only whatever you see here right so uh, with all those things lot of things the salary will uh, be more okay fine and now this is uh, 74 pages so that's the reason i have made a separate uh, pdf file where i will be explaining you the complete things because this will be a never ending process right okay so this is a big recruitment actually and uh, this has come after many years okay so this recruitment basically has come after many years now so what is the recruitment process so candidates should apply only through online mode through the official website of any rrbs where you are interested candidates can apply to only one rrb okay one more thing which i wanted to tell you friends right now the link you will not be able to see right because the application process is starting from 30 of july right so let me write it here very clearly so from 30 of july the application process is starting 30 of july so you will not be able to see the apply link right now even in the descriptions i will put that right uh application link will be updated soon okay so that should be very very clear so uh candidates should apply only through the official rrb okay the selection of rrb one exercise shall be final application to more than 
so more than one rrb you will not be able to apply what do i mean to say so please try to understand so friend, these are the rrb who are going to hire right now suppose if you are applying from chennai okay then you can you cannot apply from sikandrabad so at only one place you have to choose and you have to apply so you see where is the more number of seats where is your place accordingly you apply okay fine then the recruitment process shall comprise of uh, two the following stages so friends basically there will be first stage computer based test right so cbt1 will be there questions will be easy not very very difficult second stage computer based test then document verification medical examination that's all done you will be selected as a central government employee fine okay and then information on examination schedule and when you will be given to the eligible candidate in due course through rrb website sms and or email request for the postponement of any of these stages or the change of venue date and shift will not be entertained so nothing is going to change so once you select the rrb okay railway recruitment board once you select the exam uh, i mean your exam date or whatever your uh, you know uh, your uh, like exam date or when you nothing is going to change here okay fine and then these are the rrb so uh, if you want to apply suppose for sikandrabad then you have to log into this so https rrb sikandrabad.government.in there you have to go and from 30th of july the application process will start now so if we we'll talk about the round 1 okay cbt1 so what are the things which is uh, been going to asked so basically 90 minute and 100 questions will be there so the main challenge here it will be speed so how good you are at solving the questions so that is what is basically looked into the government job nothing else right the level of the questions will be very much you know you can say like lower than your tcs examination tcs has 10 times difficulty level of the question than what you can encounter in the railway examination so you have mathematics 30 questions you have general intelligence uh you know 25 questions and that's what i was telling so the tcs level right so tcs level will be 10 times of the level of this rrb then general awareness some you know in and around what is happening right now this this paris uh, olympics is going on right so they might ask you who won the first bronze medal for india right so manu vakir so this kind of questions general science so general science means what is water h2o right so hcl hcl is right so hcl is a it company for us but they will also tell hydrochloride right so this kind of things okay total 100 questions and the minute will be 90 that's the reason if you want to get the speed you need to know the shortcut techniques and if you need to know the shortcut techniques then i am a government i mean i am an ex government employee right i have cracked many exams government exams even i worked for uh, you know central government right so friends uh, when you do something right so when you crack some exam you know how the things uh, works right see now this openings anybody can come and tell anybody anybody can tell you the hirings right but i will tell you like how to crack it right what kind of questions will come how are you going to attempt right what will be your approach so all the things i am teaching you in achievers 2.4 batch along with placement we will be also covering aptitude reasoning right and verbal ability of the government exams as well right so you know you if you attend the class you will come to know or if you'll see my live classes on youtube you will come to know that the whatever we teach you a lot of short shortcut techniques uh, will be involved there and that's how you will be able to crack the exams right so you know study from someone who has already cracked this kind of government job or private job right see i am working in private sector from last 12 years right and you know uh, central government also i have worked right so i will be able to guide you so you can get this course the link will be in the description now let us come back and uh, see i will not waste time by getting into content and all so you just need to understand then your uh, math see so here also they have given the syllabus so basically in mathematics you will be having number system board mass fractions lcm scf ratio proportion percentage mensuration time work time distance simple compound interest profit and loss algebra geometry trigonometry elementary statistics square root age calculation calendar and clocks pipes and systems general reasoning will be analysis alphabetical and number series coding decoding mathematical operation relationship syllogism jumbling venn diagram data interpretation sufficiency conclusion and decision making similarity and differences analytical reasoning classification direction statements right general awareness knowledge of current affairs indian geography culture okay so this will be general affairs you don't have to and then general science physics chemistry and life sciences up to 10th standard right so you don't have to get into very much detail now so then i was talking right about so 
uh, these are the exam groups will be there right so you can see here so friends all branches like mechanical this is a very good options for mechanical civil engineering then you electronics engineering okay uh, then computer science communication engineering computer engineering computer science information technology instrumentation and control engineering electrical engineering right industrial engineering mechatronics right so you can see like all engineering uh, graduates are basically eligible so that's what i was telling uh, this is a very good opportunity right and also i could see here a uh, bsc in civil engineering of uh, for 3 years right and uh, then next page if you go then you can see uh, bsc chemistry and physics so uh, these are some uh, cma group exams are there that is a very big pdf you need to go through that pdf will be also given in the description educational qualification okay for chemical and metallurgical uh, supervisor right and friends there is a fees is there 500 and 250 rupees i know many of you uh, will easily spend 500 rupees on pizzas right in a week at least right friends see these are the lifetime opportunity so once you spend okay see uh one thing you always have to remember we always learn from the failures okay you might get failed or there is a very good chance that you will not be able to clear but always remember you will always get experience right see i was working in it but still i used to give government jobs and i cracked central government exams today i can proudly say that i have worked with central government and i can guide you right so there is you know there will be always something which you we have never thought and that will happen i never thought i will write central government exams and i will clear right but when you fill the exams right and when you will see the you know the situation how the things are going on automatically things will start happening right so 500 rupees is the fees and then uh, candidate belonging to SCST, ex serviceman female transgender minorities so they for them it is uh, 250 rupees right okay so only candidate who attend first year cbt will get a refund of their examination fees as mentioned above now friends so after this this fees also will be refunded to you right so but for that you need to round write the round one okay because they wanted to because they wanted to filter out the student so don't think this 500 rupees is your fees and that's gone once you fill the form you fill the form pay 500 rupees and once you write cbt1 then your fees will be refunded see only candidate who attend first stage cbt will get a refund of the examination fees as mentioned above right so friend this was a detail which i wanted to uh, share with you and again i wanted to tell you friends so if you want me to bring this kind of videos as well where you will be able to utilize this kind of opportunity then please do let me know in the comment section and also if you want me to solve questions uh, of this examination and all that also you let me know i am ready to work very very hard for you trust me our whole team is working very very hard for you all thank you take care all the very very best